Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Legends Lore. Today, I'm going to step away from Star Wars for a little bit, and we're going to talk about Rocky movies. I just saw Creed 3, and I wanted to do a ranking of all of the Rocky movies. It's been a little bit since I've done a tier list, and I love doing tier lists, so let's dive right into it. Let's bring up the tier list here. I do have every single Rocky film, as well as all three Creed films, even though Rocky is not in Creed 3. I'm going to include it because it's a new movie and it's out and I want to talk about it. All right. So typical tier list S through F. And of course, I always have quotes here that kind of highlight the different categories. All right. So we're going to start off with Rocky one. Rocky one is a best picture winner. It is one of the greatest sports movies of all time. It's arguably my favorite boxing movie of all time up there with Raging Bull. It is a fantastic story, created the template. It started Sylvester Stallone's career fantastic movie and it you know it doesn't it has a happy ending but it's not really the like heroic hero's ending that you expect i've always liked that he doesn't win that he just accomplishes a personal goal it's a nice way of not making this movie super predictable and of course this is the best movie out of all these movies kind of by a long shot i feel like so i'm gonna put this in s it is a wonderful film let's talk about rocky 2 now rocky 2 continues to be another drama after rocky 1 it deals with sickness it deals with loss it deals with some kind of sad topics but it also deals with the grit and, and kind of the the grind that ended up becoming kind of the cheesy part of rocky but here it's still played for dramatic effect i think rocky 2 is a really solid sequel especially to an all-time kind of classic movie and it's a film that people don't really talk about i do think the rematch between apollo and rocky is riveting and it works really well you know when you do the rematch of course we expect rocky to win this time because why do it a second time if he's just going to lose again but there are a lot of emotional elements and and the drama here that i actually still do really appreciate about Rocky 2. I'm having a hard time ranking this one. It can be an A and it can be a B for me. It's right on that bubble. Of course, with tier lists, it is always subject to the franchise. So I'm not by any means saying this is an A film. But I think when it comes to Rocky movies, it is amongst the top tier of Rocky movies, in my opinion. I'm going to put this one in an A. Okay, so Rocky 3 is when we start to go down the cheesy route. It's when we get into the 80s and when we have Eye of the Tiger and there's a lot of classic moments. There's the zoom in shots of them working out on the beach. There's the thigh shots you know this movie is 80s cheese all the way of course you have mr t as clever lang a great villain and a really fun the first real villain we really have in rocky because apollo is not much of a villain he's he's cocky but you don't hate apollo and this movie does a great job of bringing apollo back into the fold but as kind of a mentor to rocky as someone who admires rocky and as someone who respects the grit of the, the sport like rocky i'd put this one in c I don't dislike this movie at all. In fact, I enjoy watching this quite a bit, but I think when it stacks up against a lot of these other movies, it, it's cheesy enough and, and kind of goofy enough that I would I would put it in the C tier. Next, we talk about Rocky IV, which takes the cheese to a whole nother level. We're talking about Cold War. We're doing Russia versus the US here. And we have Ivan Drago, who kills Apollo Creed, which actually was pretty shocking to me the first time I saw it. Not expecting that. Definitely adds some gravitas to the story. But then, you know, when we're working out and climbing mountains and lifting barrels of rocks and or wheelbarrow of rock, it's melodramatic. It's rocky when it's getting goofy. But this is kind of a classic of the 80s for a reason. It, it's fun and entertaining it's got a little bit more drama than rocky 3 does even if the cheesy moments are even cheesier than rocky 3 the drama is still a little higher than rocky 3's drama as well i'm gonna put rocky 4 and b i'm not one of those people as probably because i wasn't born in the 80s but i'm not one of those people that just thinks this is just like the next best rocky because it is so over the top and goofy rocky 5 is the only rocky movie that doesn't really feature rocky fighting or boxing he's has his son in this movie it was actually sylvester stallone's real son you know we want the movie to focus on rocky but there's still that like lovable goofy quality about stallone as rocky that works at times there's a there's a scene where rocky is talking about santa and polly santa that scene makes me laugh every time i watch this movie but this movie's not very good overall and i think it's easily the worst rocky movie it's definitely an f be a thinker not a stinker the final rocky movie rocky balboa or rocky six see Sylvester Stallone as a much, much older version of Rocky. This takes place in 2006. Adrian's gone. Rocky's life is completely different. His son's grown up, doesn't really want anything to do with them. There's some interesting ideas about algorithms and, and video games and, and them putting up classics and kind of a, like an early look at how we compare all-time greats nowadays. Not necessarily putting them in a video game and making the computer play each other, but we look at a lot of all-time great sports athletes through analytics nowadays and what we have to show for analytics of the past versus the present. And this kind of was a pre 
precursor to a lot of that. I like that this movie goes for a bit more drama than Rocky 3, 4, or 5. I'm going to put this one in the B tier. I'm going to put it right behind Rocky 4 because Rocky 4 is more fun but I do appreciate the return to trying to capture some drama out of this franchise. But we truly return to the Rocky One roots with Creed. Creed is in a lot of ways what 2015 was heavily made up of, and that is reboot sequels. We can look at either Mad Max Fury Road does reboot the franchise. You can look more specifically at Jurassic World. And then you could also look at Star Wars The Force Awakens, which came out after this, which I think is less of a re true reboot of the original than both Creed and Jurassic World. So when we look at Creed in hindsight, maybe some of its identity doesn't necessarily stand away from Rocky and the Rocky formula and especially Rocky 1. But I think especially what Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone are able to craft here with the way of the entire franchise but also starting something new this movie still plays really really well for me it's definitely got the most drama and emotion out of the three creed films and it's definitely the at least the second best written if not the best written of all the rocky movies creed's first fight in this film is one of my favorite fight sequences in any boxing movie ever the tracking shot that follows adonis through the entirety of his fight it's a wonderful sequence and it's absolutely incredible and it takes rocky into that modern era but with a visionary director. I really love Creed 1. I don't think it's at the level of Rocky just because Rocky was the first one to do it, but I would still put Creed in the S tier. I think it is, those are the top two Rocky movies of all time. And to me, there's there's really no debate. So let's get into Creed 2. Creed 2 goes to amplify the drama in the way that we're bringing back Ivan Drago and his son. Adonis wants to fight Drago's son so that he can get revenge for his father's death, as well as Rocky dealing with a lot of health problems, which adds to a lot of the weight of the drama. This movie gets a bit more formulaic. It can get a little more melodramatic, and it falls more in that Rocky 2 vein than Rocky 1 or Creed 1. However, I still think this movie's fantastic. The fight scenes are really, really good. I'm going to put it right behind Rocky 2, though. So we have a Rocky Creed, Rocky Creed. Where's Creed 3 going to go? Creed 3 is a really strong movie. Like when we get to Rocky 3, 4, and 5, though, Creed 3 feels like it's a bit more searching for an identity and a reason to exist. I appreciate that it doesn't necessarily go the Rocky route of trying to embrace cheese when you get to the third film. Jonathan Majors is wonderful as Dame in this film, and he does a great job in all of his sequences. He's definitely a better actor than Mr. T is, but Clubber Lang is still a very iconic and fun. Rocky villain where Dame is more humanized. Creed 3 also tries a few new things when it comes to boxing sequences. There are some unique moments that you can't really find in any of the other Rocky films and I appreciate Michael B. Jordan in his first time as a director trying to try new things. And I am going to put it at the top of the B tier. I think it's better than Rocky 4 and Rocky 6. Although Rocky 4, I would probably rewatch Rocky 4 over rewatching Creed 3. So that's my list. That's how I would rank all of the Rocky films. Let me know how you would rank them down in the comments below. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? If you like content like this, I do a lot of tier lists on this channel as well as a variety of other content. I'm going to be pumping a ton more content into Legends lore as we continue throughout the year. I love talking about movies and film franchises though. So if you're interested in that stuff, make sure you're subscribing. There's a lot more content to come. Also hit that like button. It'll really help me out with the YouTube algorithm and help us get other film fans on board and see this channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.